Marcus, five world premiers here at AMB, of which this CLX 550TC is one of them. You're the man, I'm told, that's going to tell me all about this model. Um, what's good about it and what, what are you really doing or why have you brought this machine to market? Yeah, for sure, I would like to, yes. So this is uh, our CLX 550TC. So the 550TC is the biggest sister of our already existing 450TC. So we are continuing a series here. And this machine is dedicated for universal turning. So this is dedicated for every shop floor, let's say, basically. So and we are addressing here customers with a big variety in work pieces uh, who want to automate this machine. And here we have the advantage with the automatic tool change with the B-axis in the machine to really easy uh, change tools to uh, work on both spindles with the same tool. So all these kind of things, you're really struggling when you only work with a turret machine. I suppose it's, it's a perfect way to describe machining transformation as well, isn't it? I mean, MX is obviously your focus here, and this is doing a lot of the things that that is associated with that, the automation element. Exactly. Perhaps you could add, 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 yeah, add some meat on the bone to that. Where does this fit with MX? Exactly. So automation is one big, big topic. Yeah. So automation here with a tool changer. Of course, it's easy to automate this machine because you can have sister tools. Uh, you can have different jobs uh, on the machine automatically changing the tools from one job to the other job. But automation is not the only focus. So we have also really nice control on this, uh, the newest control gen generation with the uh, Cinemeric uh, 1 and with Silos X. Uh, and uh, for example, we have here on this machine the 3D shop floor programming. So with 3D shop floor programming, the operator is able to load uh, a step model on the machine and the machine is generating, let's say, the first draft of the NC program by itself. So I've this is I've a seen it. I mean, it's yeah, really powerful, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, how it's much sure. time will that save people? I mean, how clever is that? So for sure, uh, it saves you at least, let's say, 20 minutes to 30 minutes when you start programming in the shop floor on the machine because you directly you directly see the uh, contour of the workpiece. You have some features. You can you see where where is milling, uh, where where are some holes I need to drill, and you have a dedicated exactly on the coordinate system of the machine. So it's really easy to take over these features into your control, and this saves money uh, and and time and money. Yeah, I mean one of the things that I always you know really catches my eye, and I'm sure others that have been here because it's been very busy in front of this machine today, is your head technology. Yeah, I mean it's it. The, they're always really compact, aren't they? Even though the machine gets bigger, the head still kind of stays yeah. the same. Yeah, true. That's true. Yeah, the head is uh, really a short head. So we have a, it's called our Compact Master. It's a 350 millimeter length, so it's really small. And it's also a pattern uh, we have designed in Bielefeld uh, at Gildemeister. So uh, that we have uh, the brake uh, in line inside the head and therefore we can be really short and we can go between the spindles and therefore have really short distances there. And your tool changing system here, it's at the front, isn't it, where you can access the tools to change them? Yeah, Which exactly. Again, obviously without moving towards it now, but that's accessible for the operator, operator friendly. All these things are an extension of MX, I guess, to some degree, are they? Yeah, for sure. So, uh, so you can easily access the tools uh, when the machine is also running, of course, yeah. Uh, you have uh, the direct interaction with the, with the control system and of course there are a lot of, let's say, MX technologies also um, addressable uh, with, with this tool magazine, of course. My last question to you, Marcus, is this going to take business away from the 450 or is it, you know, just going to service a different market for people that, you know, are doing larger work maybe? Yeah, I think, I think uh, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe both, but uh, in general, uh, of course, we are addressing here a bigger market. So the, the big difference between the 450 and 550 is just the workpiece size. Yeah? So we are talking here about 550 millimeter, that's the name, 550 millimeter turning diameter. For the uh, 450, we have a smaller diameter. We have here a bigger length in the machine. So uh, for sure, now the 450 TC, let's say, and the idea of the 450 TC is available also for customers with bigger workpieces, and that's the idea. Yeah.